Hey guys, Betty Infos here and welcome to another GTA 4 100% walkthrough video. Today we're gonna do another mission for Mr. Vladdy Boy. We're getting into the habit of doing only his missions, but they're the only ones available. What can I do, guys? You might be bored of Mr. Vlad, but I'm not because he's an interesting character, even though I hate his guts. I hate him so much. Oh, god damn it, Roman. Cousin, it is your cousin. Oh, Why no shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, bro. Anyway, let's start the Vlad mission. So she sends me out. <laughs> for this I I I I I I Where can I get? Oh, Yoko, there, there you are. Okay. Vlad, come on, let's go for a walk, okay? Right. Okay. Come on. He high fived himself. <laughs> Loser. They're laughing at Vlad. Where are you going? To my car. Why? Because of your cousin. What? Owe me a lot of money and until he pays me, you're fresh up the boat. Excuse Your ass is mine. What the fuck do you mean, what? Hey, you are a pretty relaxed guy, huh? Oh, no, we can see that. But I mean, I wait, Mark. Come on, Yoko. What's wrong with you? You gonna watch, jump me? Dude. No, I had a late night last night. Spent it with Mikhail. Great. Yeah, wild. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. That's so who the hell one. is Mikhail? Hey, Mikhail's a man. A very important man. Shit, my nose is bleeding. Is my nose bleeding? No, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Come on! Wait! I'm walking hey, here! Wait the Let's fuck go! Up. Damn city, always trying to run you down, huh? Hey man, get above Get a job, hey, you deadbeat give me drug just, just a little change, man! Man, hey, where do these whoa, people whoa, get off? Whoa, whoa. Like I'm gonna pay for their drug habit. I completely agree, actually. Well, say something! You are so fucking laid back! Warren! Come on! Fuck that guy, he chose his path. And you chose your path, you asshole. You also fucking using drugs. Hell no. We walked all the way over here so you could snort coke? No, listen. Ah, that's bad. I can see. Oh. <laughs> Man, Michael gets the good stuff. It's a got some laxative in it though. It gives you a stomach problem. <laughs> nice detail. Yeah, listen, huh? Where were we? I don't know. Oh yeah. So, I need you to head up to Dukes and get a car for me. It's a silver blister, and it's packed in the projects by EIC subway station, okay? Sure. <laughs> you got keys? Uh, no, Yokel. I need you to take the Don't car. touch my hat. Michael some money. Take his car instead, huh? We're gonna <laughs> drive over there? What? How are we gonna drive over there? No. You're gonna take the train, buddy. You think I want to be in the car with the peasant? Come on. The same goes with you, asshole. <laughs> somebody. <laughs> Have a little <Okay>. party. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Have fun, dickhead. I don't want to be caught with a peasant too, so I'm not gonna go with you. Huh? That's my choice, not your choice, you asshole. I said asshole so many times, even though he is an asshole. Also, there is a bad location over here, but I already have a bad, so it's okay. Roman gave me a thumbs down because I. I said no to his invitation. Anyway, we have to. This is introducing us to this subway station, which is a pretty useless feature in this game because we already have another form of transportation, which is taxis. Now, in GTA 3, we had also some train stations. In GTA Vice City, they were removed, and in GTA San Andreas, we have them too. Where am I going? What, what the fuck am I going? <laughs> I went too high. <laughs> anyway, we have to be over here. But as I was saying, in Vice City we, they got removed, there's no trains at all. In GTA San Andreas we do have trains. Who's speaking? Anyway, we do have trains in San Andreas which we can use, which are kind of useful actually, but in this game they're completely useless because first of all you have to climb a bunch of stairs, and then you have to Getting here, you have to watch a cutscene, him getting in and whatnot, but it's a lot easier to get a taxi from the street. A lot easier. So this feature is completely useless. You can also, of course, skip this to destination, but I'm not gonna do that at all. We're gonna watch the beautiful scenery. Also, if you stay there in this mission for like 2 hours, 5 hours, 10 hours, this train is not gonna move at all. They're really making you sure, making sure that you're not gonna uh, miss the train in this mission. 
Anyway, this mission shows us two completely useless features. The first one is the train and the next one you're gonna see a little bit later. I'll show it to you later. Okay, so I have to go to the blister compact, which is pretty close to here. Come on, dude, don't waste any time, I can just jump off, but I don't want to lose any more life. Okay, the blister compact is pretty, pretty close, it's pretty convenient how it's right next to where the train stops. And there's the blister compact. Now, you can do two things here. You can kill the guy, or you can leave him alive. I'm gonna leave him alive. If you leave him alive, you're gonna get a type of dialogue. If you kill him, you're gonna get an, a different dialogue. I, I'm a pussy. I think you're the pussy. Actually, I'm, I'm the pussy because I'm running away. <laughs> I have your new car, Vlad. It's not pretty, though. Real dirty. Dirty? I can't sell a dirty car. I know you cousins like them dirty. Damn! Maybe your whole local family drives around in a dirty car, but it's not the way over here. Fucking peasants don't do nothing right. Hey, I could fuck this car up worse than a little dirt. Relax, man. You should lose your age. There's a car wash over in Saratoga Avenue. Just take it over there, and then to my lockup, just up Mohawk. Did they give the car up easy? It was easy. I didn't even have to hurt the guy. Good. That guy can't pay interest. You are learning. Indeed, I am. So what you can do here is go to the car wash, or you can go to pay and spray. And the lockup is right next to pay and spray, so you're better off just going here instead of wasting time and going here. So just go to pay and spray instead, but I'm gonna show you this feature in this video because I also have something to say about it. Let's go to it, it's pretty close. Now in San Andreas we also had this... We were supposed to have this feature, it was planned, we have car washes, but they're not usable. But in this game they decided to actually implement this feature. A pretty useless feature because it's the only time you're gonna see this feature. I, I guarantee that not many people are actually gonna use it because even though it's, you know, kinda dirty, it's not that significant because this game is pretty dark itself and cars are supposed to be kinda dirty all the time and whatnot. So, yeah, I'm never gonna use this feature again. Now, something cool to say about this uh, car wash. Even though it's a pretty useless feature, they actually put some work into it. So if you go into a, into a car wash with a regular car, it's gonna take five bucks to clean it. If you get inside, let's say, in a taxi, if you get in a taxi here, you're gonna get a discount. Yeah, a discount, which is two bucks. You're gonna pay five of uh, three bucks. And if you go inside with a convertible, which is a car without a roof, if you don't know, if you get inside with a convertible, actual people are gonna wash your car. Yeah, not the game itself, I mean, not the machine itself. Some actual people are gonna wash the car, which is a pretty neat, nifty feature, even though this whole feature, the car wash feature, is pretty useless. In San Andreas it would have made more sense. Because the dirtiness is a lot more visible, and in, in this game it's not that visible because the game itself is so dark. But anyway, it looks a lot better, yeah, but are you honestly gonna use this feature at all? Ever? I don't think you are. And I'm gonna get it dirty here. Anyway, it's okay. And also, as I said, I'm gonna try, I'm trying not to dent it at all. Anyway, this is the lockup location. As I said, it's pretty close to pay and spray, so you're better off going to pay and spray because it's also gonna clean the car. It's gonna respray it and also clean it. And there's a the lockup. There's also something else I wanna mention, but that's gonna be after this cutscene. Well, not cutscene, but after the phone call. Because I'm gonna call Vladdy Boy. I can call him or he can call me. By himself. Okay, let's go. Hello, this is Vladimir's answer phone message. The fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Anyway. I put the car in your lockup. You're not as stupid as you look, Yoko. Hey, hey. Come back to see me at the bar soon. Yep, that unlocked another mission for Vladdy Boy. So, the thing I wanted to mention is that there's a bum in the cutscene which we saw at the beginning of this video who is also in the Ballad of Gay Tony. He also makes an appearance there. 
You might say, ah, that's a useless boom. Whatever, we're not, never gonna see him again, but now we're gonna see him again in the Battle of Gate Tony. And he also has a not a very significant role, he's a side character, but he has a role in that game, which is pretty interesting as well. So guys, that's it for this video, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode!